안녕하세요. 원투드리 김치의 태연입니다. Hello everyone, this is Taeyeon and it's so good to see you again at 1,2,3 김치! What's the one dish that Koreans cannot go without on festivities? Right, it's 접채. All Koreans love 접채 period. So what's not to love about stir-fried glass noodles and vegetables with sweet and savory sauce? The bad part? It usually takes a lot of work, but let me show you how to ace this in a quick one-pan dish. Now, shall we start? The best part about chapche? Of course, it's flavorful sauce. I'm going to mix all the sauce ingredients together. Stir well and set aside. Here's glass noodles, tangmyeon in Korean. It's made with sweet potato starch, so it's naturally gluten free. But do get the Korean ones because they're more suitable for making chapche. It needs to be soaked in water for at least one hour before cooking. This is dry shiitake mushroom. Feel free to use the fresh ones, but dried ones do have more texture and flavor. And now here we have the dried black fungus, also called dried wood ear mushroom. This we only need four little pieces because look, they get so much bigger after soaking in water. Both dry shiitake mushroom and black fungus needs to be soaked in water for at least 30 minutes to 1 hour. But it's easier if you put these mushrooms with the glass noodles together in a container, fill it up with water, and keep it in the fridge overnight. So I can just come home after work the next day and cook it right away. Glass noodles after soaking get softer like this. Drain and cut them shorter so they won't tangle as we cook them. Squeeze the water out of shiitake mushroom, cut the stems, and slice thinly. One tip for me, I usually take half a tablespoon of the sauce and marinate the shiitake mushroom for even more flavor. Cut black fungus mushroom into smaller pieces and slice the onion thinly. Cut the carrots and red bell pepper into thin matchsticks. Spinach is rinsed and drained. Now we need to stir fry everything together. One thing that's really important here is that we keep the vegetables cooked but crunchy and noodles bouncy. So watch when I'm putting in the next ingredients. Heat a pan over medium-high heat and add the vegetable oil. Once the pan is heated, add onion and carrot, season with a little pinch of salt. Stir fry for about 1-2 to two minutes until onion becomes half transparent and carrots start getting the bright orange hue. Add red bell pepper and marinated shiitake mushroom. Stir fry for another minute. Add the noodles, the sauce, 
and black fungus all at the same time. I repeat all at the same time. Now you really want to pay attention to the noodles because you don't want to overcook them. Stir fry for about one and a half minutes until the noodles become transparent. Remove from the heat and stir in spinach and cook with residual heat until the leaves become wilted. If you feel like you can use some more sesame oil, mix it in. Now it's time to sprinkle some sesame seeds to make it gorgeous just like you. Done. It's time to slurp. It's full of flavors and texture. Flavors from all the vegetables mingle so well with bouncy and chewy noodles. You really have to try this. I serve it with rice or you can serve it alone as a meal. Did you know that you can swap the veggies with any other veggies that you like? It's a true DIY dish in Korean cuisine. So let us know how you would ace this dish in the comments and don't forget to share the love and subscribe. Thank you for watching. One, two, three, kimchi!